We spent a lot of time in this cell, staring at these blank walls or walking across the cold floor dreading what was gonna happen next. Now that the big guy's free of his cage, he's got some ideas about how to change the decor, and our feelings about this place. This place is a dump for sure. I suppose there's nowhere to go but up. What do you need? Screening the hem with our vileness! No other! Yeah, that's a good place to start. Whoever was here before us left some really creepy art on the wall. Can you help get rid of it? At night, I swear there are voices coming from that spot. All day we obsess about whether it hears us, too. I think you are right, boyo. You've got some kind of infestation. Trap the rats outside! I'm pounding the swallowed! Drop in, lads! I think we're headed into a skirmish. You better keep going or we'll never be able to sleep again. Well, I feel vindicated. We weren't wrong. There were voices inside the walls listening and planning our demise. No, I, I mean, uh, great foliage. I mean... Nah, you get it. But, uh, where did that plant come from? Tawanda! Come again, Boyo? We called our last friend in this place Tawanda. She was someone to talk to. She made us feel safer. A warm taster to chomp my mind at a time! Tawanda! Ted, our doom and gloom playlist isn't having the desired effect on our patience. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, perhaps I could make a suggestion. I'm listening. Instead of doom and gloom, let's replace it with a party mode. We'll tell them we're going to treat them to something special. Dangle a bit of hope in front of them, so to speak. Go on. And then we play music so upbeat, they'll be begging for doom and gloom. What do you have in mind? Ska, sir. Oh, ho, ho, you're evil, Ted! I didn't know you had it in you! Jeez. Thank you. Tawanda will be good company. Sometimes, good things come from bad places, like possessed walls. And if she can survive in here, it's a reminder that we can too. There! Clean walls and a wee tree. Place looks great, right? A great chasm! Open your fist and ply the exploits! Pretty sure he has some other ideas. Eh, uh, this place is looking pretty nice. What else do you need? Like a smart fish screams! <sighs> drown them! Drown them dry! Every night our neighbor sings. Not only does he keep us up, but he's a terrible singer. <sighs> ah, 
I'd be lying if I said I hadn't spent countless nights fantasizing about his demise. Yes, yes, drown them dry. I'll go and talk some sense into him. Won't you hear my plea? Oh, come save me from this misery so I can be happy. Oh, it's like somebody let a banshee loose in here. Do you perhaps have another key you could sing in there, lad? The days are dreary without my sweetie. Oh, please save me, my darling. Uh, I, you're gonna bust me eardrums with your wailing. If you won't kindly shut up on your own accord, I'm gonna have to force your jaw shut. Come at me. Or we can have a brawl, sure. Have it your way. Mercy, mercy! I'm sorry. I overreacted. I shouldn't have come at you like that. My rage overcame me. I know my singing isn't perfect, but it's one of the few things that gets me through the day. No worries, boyo. Now that it's all out of your system, can I ask that you keep the singing to a minimum for our shared pal, Kriegy? Yes. Quite right. Listen, as an apology for my behavior, will you give Krieg something for me? I smuggled in these party lights. I'd like him to have them as a peace offering. Yeah, Grant. Oh, one more thing before you go. Let Krieg know I've been working on a batch of toilet wine. When it's ready, he can come have a taste. Hey, whatever gets you through the day, I let him know. He's also making you some toilet wine. I can hardly wait. My liver is alive with bile. Honestly, I feel like an ass. Edric isn't all bad. It's just easy to perceive everyone as a threat when you're in a threatening place. These lights and the, uh... Boop drink! Will remind us to hold on to our belief in human goodness. And look, the party lights really do cheer up the place. The music, on the other hand, really clashes with the new vibe. Bum 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 to chica chica chica. Sure, yeah, like that. Do you think you could help change the song to something a little less impending doom and a little more? Chica 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 chica. Great. Any idea how I do that? There's an intercom hooked up to the computer system near the caretaker's office. You can use this to change the music. Here. That's a memory of us enjoying the music. If you insert it into the computer, you should be able to reinstall the playlist. Here we are. This place has a party mode. What the hell for? <laughs> that did the trick. They only ever played this music into the cells one time. It must not have had the desired effect. Chick a chick, chick a chick, music to scunt to. What can I say? We love ska. Hearing it makes us feel hopeful. That feeling could change so much here. 
Trip the light and it dances away. I am a bit worried, though. About the toilet wine? I bet your guts are strong enough, though. About the caretaker. Loaded and horned, he chews cud. Yeah, he's a real piece of work. And the next time he conducts a surprise inspection, he'll destroy all the changes we've made. And worse. It's bleeding time! I agree. The best choice is to kill him. We can keep our new things and kick him out of our headspace for good. He spends most of his time in his office, though. Can you go there and give him a reason to leave it? Trust me, boy -o. I'm never not trying to make a scene. Stain his similarity with gusto! Good idea. The caretaker is incredibly vain. If he vandalized the portrait outside his office, that should get his attention. <laughs> Take it from a good-looking man like me. That's an improvement. Officers, it appears we have a British patient out of their cells. That's my pain. Take care of them.